What's up, Scoot fam? Mike COE at New Scooters for Less. Uh, this time of year, we get a lot of people coming in looking for specific scooter models. Uh, so today, I wanted to highlight two of our best sellers. Now, in 2017 and 2018, New Scooters for Less was actually recognized as the number one dealer for genuine scooter company. A lot of that has to do with the support we get from the distributor, but a lot of it also has to do with the amazing products that they put out. These are two of our best sellers. It's the Genuine Buddy 50 and the Genuine Rough House 50. So before we get into some of the specifics about the scooters themselves, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the purchase uh, process and, and what's involved there. Um, out the door, these scooters are going to be around $25 to $2,700. And it may sound a little expensive compared to some of the budget level scooters that we also carry, but it's really more about the value that you get and the performance that you get and the reliability that you get when it comes to these two scooters. Uh, the first thing to talk about is the quality. These scooters are made in Taiwan, which is well known as being a reputable source of scooters and other products. Um, the, the quality is just outstanding from a fit and finish. You can see it right away. Uh, the warranty that comes with these bikes is the two year parts and labor warranty. Uh, the interesting thing about that is the labor part of that warranty can be honored at any authorized genuine dealer in the United States. So if you end up taking the scooter home or you end up uh, transferring somewhere, you've still got that warranty intact. Uh, and you can get any needed services done. Um, it comes with two years roadside assistance, which is also fantastic. Here at New Scooters for Less, we offer free pickups and deliveries for as long as your scooter's on the road. But if you ever you know, get that late night study session and the scooter breaks down then, it's nice to have that roadside assistance in your back pocket so you're not stranded anywhere. Uh, from a resale value, these scooters hold up really well. Uh, it's one of my favorite scooters to buy back uh, on our used lot. A uh, five-year-old Genuine Buddy, Genuine Rough House still gets anywhere between 12 and 1400 bucks on the used lot. Uh, so it's, it's an upfront investment for you, uh, but over the, the four years of a college student, or if you're not a college student, you know, however long you may have it, there's a lot of uh, back-end potential for your purchase. It makes it a really sound investment for you. So the motors of these two scooters are exactly the same. Uh, the performance is going to be very identical as well. So we'll talk about some of the key things that differentiate them. The Rough House is going to be more of your aggressive, uh, maybe motocross inspired type bike. You've got some knobby wheels on it. It's a little bit more of an aggressive front look. Um, some people will say this is really more of a guy type scooter, the same thing. Uh, the scooter comes in a matte black, a silver, a white. There's sport editions for it. It's just a really nice, um, I also said it's the, it's the most comfortable seat in the entire scooter business. So just a really nice aggressive look. For the Genuine Buddy, um, you're gonna have a lot of nice pastel colors. Your lavender, this one, the, the girl's called Tiffany Blue. Um, you got white, some black, some reds, um, some tangerines, some really nice colors there. This is more of a retro inspired here uh, look here um, with the round headlight and the chrome uh, accents and everything like that. Uh, but so from a, from a aesthetic standpoint, you can pretty much see the differences here, uh, but the mechanical aspect and performance aspect are gonna be very much the same. All right, so now we're gonna talk about some of the features of the Genuine Buddy itself. Uh, if you come over here to the handlebars, you have a basic uh, high beam, low beam switch, your blinkers, your horn, they got a nice air horn on it. You have an emergency kill switch here. You have the emergency flashers here. And then your east start button is located on the right thumb. Uh, once you get into this portion behind the, the knee shield, you have the cubby, you got a lot of space to put maybe a water bottle, your cell phone, everything. Here in the key, you'll find uh, your release to open the seat. And then once we get under the seat, you can see it's got a, a deep uh, well here to fit all your belongings. Your gas cap concealed by the seat, so it keeps it away from the elements. And then here you have your two-stroke reservoir. And that's where we're going to get into the most important thing about any two-stroke scooter is the two-stroke oil itself. Um, on this model, the oil is located here under the seat. Depending on the usage of the vehicle, oil in a, in a two-stroke scooter like this one will last about four to 600 miles, whereas your fuel tank will last only about 100 miles. So it's gonna burn uh, much less frequently than the gas will. So usually what we recommend is put a, a quart of oil in the seat and pop it off as you go, rather than waiting for all that oil to burn out. The most important thing about a two-stroke scooter, you never wanna run a risk of running it out of oil where it's just metal on metal, because that's when the motor will blow. You do have an indicator here on your dash that'll let you know when that oil is getting low. Not like a gas light where it's like, hey, you can drive around for a few more miles. That one, you're gonna wanna pull over immediately and put oil in the, in the scooter itself. 
All right, toward the back of the scooter, we see the kickstart here. That's your optional uh, way to start the vehicle in case the battery ever fails you. Uh, so that's good equipped on this bike. Um, on the right side, we have a muffler shield, really good for heat protection. We talk about muffler burns all the time. Um, this one actually does a really good job. You do wanna make sure that the hardware stays tight on it because they do fall off. Um, and then you have two kickstands. Right now it's on the center kickstand. This is gonna be the most stable one. You roll it forward, it comes off. Uh, if I drop the scooter, it's gonna fall over. You also have a little bicycle kickstand here that it will lean down. This is totally fine to use this way. It's never gonna spontaneously fall down, but if you do find yourself parking in those areas where they're really tight, really easy for someone to be pulling their scooter out, clip that stand, and now your scooter's falling down and you're placing things like mirrors and brake levers and got some nice scratches on your side. So that, that side stand is great for wide open spaces, but most of the time you're gonna to wanna to put it on the kick stand. Just in the back, this one's gonna be much more stable for you. Well, the last thing to talk about with this scooter is the maintenance. Um, it's a two-stroke scooter, like we said, so it runs off that gas oil mix. That actually is really beneficial to the customer because it's one less trip they have to make to the dealership uh, for an oil change. So that one you're gonna do on your own. You can't always bring it by the dealership, we can top it off for you, uh, but it's definitely easy for you to just buy oil at, at your uh, convenience. You can buy it at local grocery stores, gas stations from our shop, and you can just keep some with you, top that two-stroke oil off and you're good there. The only other one is the transmission oil. That one is uh, done at a thousand mile interval, much like every other scooter. Uh, we usually see people do that one once or twice a year. Uh, it's a $35 uh, oil change here in our shop. Uh, you can do it as a walk-in, uh, but other than that, just a once a year spark plug, uh, air filter cleaning and things like that is really all you're gonna have to do. We do sell maintenance packages uh, that you can buy at any time to kind of bulk that up. But from a general maintenance standpoint, you're saving a lot of money by doing a two-stroke uh, scooter over some of the other options that you have in the market. So on the Genuine Web House, all of the, the features on the handlebars are gonna be exactly the same as the Buddy. Um, so you can see that there. Where it does start to get different is um, your storage space here. A lot less than you have on the Buddy where you have that wraparound cubby. Uh, but you do have the USB port here that you can uh, charge your wireless devices. To get to your under seat storage, that key uh, is actually gonna be operated through a keyhole here rather than the ignition. And it flips up like that. You don't have anything really going on under the seat. It is a little bit deeper. Uh, so you can fit a little bit more in there, but there's nothing actually going on in here. The gas tank is actually located here behind the seat. Um, it is key operated as well. Um, so you have the convenience of having the, the gas tank on the buddy protected by the, by the seat, but this one is a little bit out, but it is a really nice seal. So you don't have as many problems with moisture getting into the gas tank here. The two stroke compartment is a little bit different on this one as well. Um, you have a screw that's located right here. And you just unscrew this, pull this out. And then this is where your two stroke reservoir is. Definitely recommend getting a long funnel that can stick out a little bit so you can pour it over here rather than trying to get it in here and have oil go everywhere. You wanna keep a funnel with you uh, just to make sure that's as, as mess free as possible. Uh, and then this will just pop back there. On the back side here, again, we talked about a kickstart and it has the same muffler shield here. Uh, like I said, the motor is very similar. Um, so there's not much different there. Um, but in all, you definitely have like a, a more aggressive look of this bike as compared to the retro styling of the Buddy. Uh, it's definitely good for, for anybody that's looking for, for this kind of style. All right, that just about wraps it up for this vlog. Uh, these are two fantastic bikes from a reliability standpoint, a quality standpoint, fit and finish. Everything is here with the Genuine Rough House and Genuine Buddy. Uh, if you're not looking to get a motorcycle license and still want those uh, you know, capable speeds, you can get these bikes de-restricted to where they go about 45 miles an hour. Uh, and that's the fastest you can go without getting a motorcycle endorsement here in the state of Florida. Uh, but with that said, these are two fantastic bikes. If you have a budget that works between two and three grand, it really truly is a no brainer. These are my favorite scooters to sell at that price point. You really won't be disappointed. So I hope you enjoy this vlog. If you have any questions or want to schedule a test drive, please feel free to reach out to us at 352-336-1271 or email us at sales at nsrl.com. Peace.